Okay, I'm live now. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Live on Camera with Deepna Patel. This Instagram series enables you to interact with me and my wonderful camera and me members and uh, we share their journey of sharing their inhibitions in front of the camera, making videos effortlessly and reaching out to more and more people. And all my camera participants are so incredible in what they do. Some of them are teachers, some of them are doctors and coaches and they have so much to share with you all and they are launching their YouTube channels which they will be sharing themselves uh, on the live session with me and today we have a very very special member with us and I call her the Tendulkar of Camera and Me program uh, especially because uh, she has set a benchmark for all the other Camera and Me participants and she's made more than 20 videos in just 8 weeks so she's a part of my 12 weeks camera and me mastermind program and she's already crossed 20. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to know more about her. Her name is Kala Natarajan. She's a life coach. She's a motivational speaker and a published author. So I think she has already joined us. I can see all my friends have joined. Hi Lakshmi. Hi mom. Thank you for joining in everyone. You can share this uh, live uh, session. There's a small arrow that you can see on the right side below and you can share it with your friends so that they can know more about what our life coach Kala Natarajan has to share with everyone. Uh, okay, hi Kala, how are you doing? Are you ready? I'm going to share and send you a request. Okay, copy my request. Hello Kala, how are you doing? I'm just quickly going to shift this so that you can see me better. Okay. Hi Deepna, lovely. Hi. You looking lovely. Same here. Thank you so much. You're also looking really nice. Thank you. Would you like to shift your camera? Or would you like to bring it up? Yeah. Oh. While you're talking to me? Yes. Is that good? Much better. Much better. Oh, uh, so is, yeah. it, is it on the... Oh, yes, yeah. I'm still learning. I thought uh, yes. I've learned everything. So I'm still learning from you. Absolutely. That is why my program is not a quick fix one day program. And it's a 12 weeks program so that you keep making your mistakes and you learn from your mistakes and from other participants while they are on the program. So it's okay to make mistakes. It's good, it's good to make mistakes. So Kala, could you share with us that... Um, how your journey has been so far from the day one that you joined Camera and Me program and today, uh, how far have you come? Could you share with us? Uh, yeah, sure. I would love to share that. Uh, so before I met Deepna, I was not at all comfortable with the camera. Like, I, uh, like Deepna has already shared, I'm a life coach and a motivational speaker and a published author. And I wanted to make videos and put it in the, post it in social media. But before, I never knew how to, you know, face in front of the camera. And so many things I didn't know. So, but when I met Deepna and she uh, took me through the journey of camera me, camera and me, I became so much clearer in all the aspects of making a video and facing the camera that now me and camera have become the best of friends. That's of awesome. Uh, but the only thing is that uh, I still have to learn a few things from Deepna yes. uh, because she's really uh, pro in this and me not okay, so, so much. Okay, so I'm going to make you do a quick correction right now. I would like you to lift up your eyes and talk. Uh, lift up what? Your eyes and talk. Oh, okay. So would you like to bring your camera a little? Uh, is this good? Yeah, this is better. You can keep it away, but just the height, I want you to keep it up. So that you don't have to look down and your eyes are lifted up and you're looking bright and nice. Just give me a second. Sure, sure. It's a learning process and you can take your time. So Kala has been really inspiring and uh, she crosses the benchmark every time. And I would love to have more and more uh, members and participants like her who are so dedicated and they are as committed to the Camera and Me program as I am towards them. So I hope to have more and more participants like you, Kala. 
I'm so glad to have you in my program. Is this better? This is much better. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So I would uh, like to say that this is an ongoing process, and you know so much that uh, you know it. It's like a sea. What you know, and I Thank think you. what I know is a drop in the ocean. So this the, there is still lot to learn from you. Like the way you corrected me just now. Uh, yeah. That you know how to hold the camera, etc. So, uh, so would you better? Is your camera is still better? Yeah. yeah, this is better. I I just want to want you to lift up your eyes when you're talking instead of looking down. You're probably looking at yourself right now. So that is why your eyes are lower. So slowly oh. you will learn. Probably in your second live session. Yeah, is this better now? I'm looking at with the someone. camera. Yes, this can work. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So now much I better. learned this also. Yes, and you're smiling uh, so and you're happy. So thank you so much for inviting me because I also do a lot of Facebook, li Insta lives, and Facebook lives. Uh, and so now I know where to look in the camera. Uh, you have yes. to look at the camera while doing Facebook live. Yes. Also, could you tell us why you decided to not just go for the basic four weeks program, but you decided to go for the advanced program as well? So you signed up for twelve weeks. So, could you tell us why you took that decision with me? Yeah. So, uh, I would like to say that, uh, j like I just now shared, uh, Deepna knows so much. Uh, equal, uh, so I can uh, put the metaphor. She knows equal to the ocean. She has been a former <laughs> Miss India and things like that. So, I came to know that I am growing in the area of camera and me, and I am making better and better videos. And uh, you were also a very good um, uh, taskmaster. That you would give assignments. That you make so yes. many videos. Put I'm it not in very your... lenient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's no. Uh, she doesn't. Uh, she looks very soft, but she's not all that soft. She's <laughs> a hard taskmaster, and she makes you really do the assignments. Uh, so uh, I thought that this is would be a lovely journey. So many things I learned from uh, from uh, in this journey of mine that uh, uh, where where should be the right frame in my house because my uh, house had a few good spots but I was not aware of it. I would sit in a comfortable position on my table and do the but uh, uh, you guided me that you know you should be in the uh, this this frame is better or that yes. frame is better etc. Okay, also, I have a quick question. Ha, sorry, continue and then after that I'll ask. You. So also, I didn't know where to look in the camera exactly. But now you While know. Making... Your videos are getting better and better, and I'm very happy with you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Is your fan on right now? No, I don't have fan right now. <laughs> I have. So I just. On. I know I've been very strict with you. So for video making, I know it gets very uncomfortable, but it's very important that the fan and the AC is off. But while you're in a live session, which is comparatively longer, if you're sitting on a live session for thirty minutes, one hour, it's all right to put the fan on. So I just want to tell you, Kala, if it's off, you can put it on. Yeah, I know. So I used to forget I keep telling always. Her, I, after every video, I ask her, "Was the fan off?" And she's like, "Oh, it's so hot." But I was like, "You don't want any distracting sound in your video. You want people to hear to uh, listen to what you're saying, and you want the audio to be very nice to the ear." So yes, that's why I keep pushing you all to do better in your videos. Yeah, and also I've been forgetting to put the fan off and to put the AC on, but uh, you've been correcting me very AC patiently. AC off too, Kala. AC off too. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, and also that funny. light should be in front of my face. Yes. Earlier I used to keep light at the back of my face. And uh, my face would appear very dark. So that also you guided me. You so have come a long way. Yes. Yeah, this has been a really awesome journey. That's great. So, Kala, I have a question. I uh, saw this beautiful quote that you shared on your Instagram, and as a life coach, I would want you to share more on it. So, it said there is a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally, is what you shared on your Instagram, and I think this is very powerful. And most people are not able to do that, and they do. Take things personally, and that leads to unhappiness and dissatisfaction. So, could you share with us as a life coach that how we can change that? Yeah, because you know, 
many many times we take things personally many people don't know don't uh, mean what they say uh, and they just end up saying something and we take it to heart and we take it personally so we are, we really don't have to take anything personally and uh, take an objective view of everything in life hmm. so uh, uh, sharing your power codes will help you a lot and uh, sharing your power codes about loving yourself more so much that you know you don't really take uh, yeah, it bother about self care yeah so self one love. good uh, power code is that i love and accept myself exactly like the way i am okay that's also, nice that's lovely also you shared that life can begin at any age and uh, you are a wonderful example of that because you have gone through some personal challenges very difficult challenges and as a coach uh, i believe that vulnerability is strength and you've so openly shared your struggles and you have your own program and uh, the program is about empowering single mothers divorcees and you've come a long way so when you were going through those challenges Uh, can you share with us in detail how that was and how from uh, going through your own pain and suffering you decided ke uh, you decided that i'm going to move forward and i'm going to help other women come out of this so can you share your journey with us yeah and so the, i would yeah. quickly share uh, my story yeah uh, in um, in a minute's time so sure. long back sure. when i was in school actually i was ragged a lot and it uh, i ended up in a emotional trauma uh went into a marriage uh, i actually wanted mm. to commit suicide at that time after i oh. was dragged but somehow something stopped me and i my life kept going it's my okay. never giving up attitude actually yeah, I have, that i can totally see when you're a part of my program i can see that side of yours you never give me excuses and that's the best part yeah and so it, never yeah. giving up attitude that kept me going i got into a job then got married that was a very traumatic marriage and when uh, my ex husband started physically abusing me etc i was out of the marriage then i was so scared what will the world say what will colleagues say so but uh, you really don't live for others you live for yourself right Yes, so that uh, uh, so reading some books, self help books, etc., helped me a lot, and I took charge of my life, got my promotions, and I wow. became successful in life. And I really don't want divorces. Uh, or yes, because most mothers. people will feel that okay, now what is going to happen to my life? And they have their whole life ahead of them. And because we give so much importance to. marriage compared to being financially independent especially for women so i totally understand what you're saying that you know when something like that happens it seems like the end of the world so could you yeah, share exactly. about that as well that why it's very that? necessary for women to stand up on their own feet you will be respected by your children more you will be respected by your uh, husband's family more by your husband yeah. more when you are earning something on your own that is yes. what i want to make people do and really empower uh, single mothers and divorcees so that they are able to stand on their own feet and face the world independently and strongly yes that's amazing thank you so much what is your program called kala my program my own program is called be unstoppable and i uh, right. he, he are help people with their dreams i help them to take those baby steps to achieve their dreams and i also help them remove the negative thinking which they have about themselves and about the about what they can achieve okay. in life and turn them into positive codes and i help them move on in life that's wonderful okay i would like to tell our audiences that you can ask us any question related to what kala is doing or related to facing the camera and video making while the live session is on and i will go through the comment section uh, so kala you are also a published author and uh, your book is called empower yourself you've also won uh, uh, i think two awards for the same book could yeah. you please uh, share more about your book what is it about and where can the audiences uh, 
get, uh, can they get it from Amazon? And uh, can you share about your book a little bit? Yeah. So I would like to say that this is my first book, Empower Yourself. Oh, one second. Yes, I can see it. And uh, this is my second book, uh, uh, Reinvent Yourself. So, so wow. both are self-help books. It, it helps you to grow. My first book, Empower Yourself, is uh, uh, contains 40 chapters of uh, small chapters of mm -hmm. how through positive thinking you can change your mindset and achieve breakthroughs in life. It's all about internal change, which will bring about an uh, external change. Wow. And my That's second beautiful. book, uh, Reinvent mm -hmm. Yourself, is all, it contains five chapters. That is also about how to have an internal change, uh, change your mindset uh, so that your health is better. You are not defeated by failures in life. Your money okay. situation is better. You're financially free, etc. Because it all is, everything is... It begins here. with the mindset, the right mindset. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm going to share the name of your books when I post this video. And I think it's available on Amazon, right? It's both are available on Amazon. Wonderful. Could you quickly share uh, three, four lines from, from your book? Anything you would like to quickly share with our audience? Surely. So this, uh, like I just spoke a uh, few minutes back, that you must love yourself. I'm all in favor of each person loving herself or himself. So I, uh, this is the first chapter, be a person of high self-esteem. Self-esteem is nothing but our own evaluation of ourselves. Many a times we underestimate ourselves and start seeking approval and validation from others. When we do this and we do not get our validation, we start feeling low and depressed. Let's learn how to love ourselves unconditionally, no matter what, and accept and trust ourselves just like the way we are. Making positive affirmations or power codes each day that I will love and respect myself just like the way I am, along with my mistakes, will boost our self-esteem multifold. Wow, that's beautiful. Well written. And uh, I hope to uh, read your book and I hope our audiences can also uh, reach out and uh, connect with you. You can just wanted to share for a second sure. that when you start loving yourself, you will not look out for validation from others. Yes, and especially right now with social media, so many people are going through self-doubt and self-esteem issues. And the best way to overcome that is with self-love, love and contributing to other people's lives. Is Absolutely. Move towards it. So, Akala, we have a question over here. So I'm just going to take, a qu take that question. So it's called how to face camera on stage. So Jagat Singh, I'm assuming that when you're on stage, you are probably a speaker coach. So you will be, your focus is on the audience and not so much uh, on the camera, unless you have uh, your participants on live on the Zoom call and uh, sitting live in front of you, then it's a different story. But if you're focusing on what you're sharing with the uh, participants sitting live with you in that particular room, so you want to focus on them and the camera will find a way, your director of photography who's taking care of your camera will find a way to capture you from different angles. So you don't really have to worry about that unless you're a singer and then, you know, there is a camera which is moving around your face and dancing with you and then you might just want to look into the camera and sing to the camera that when people are looking at you live or through TV or internet or live streaming, you know, they feel like you're singing to them. So that is my tip for you. Uh, Kala, I want to ask you um, do, uh, a, a tough question. So quickly, you'll have to, without thinking spontaneously, I want you to answer. So what are five things that you will keep in mind when you are making a video? Uh, one is the frame. Mm -hmm. Second is whether it should be in portrait mode or landscape mode. Third is where I should look in the in my mobile while okay. shooting my videos. Yeah. Fourth is prepare the content. Write the script. Yes. yes. And fifth is smile and be natural in front of the camera. Awesome. That's amazing. I should have asked you 10, right? <laughs> you did a good job. I'm happy. Thank you so Good much. Job, you've, been, you've been a big encouragement for me. 
thank you i so also get now, appreciation uh, for my videos from my friends so it's all amazing. because of you yeah i just shared with them that you've made more than 20 videos and you're making reels and youtube videos and it's amazing so uh, could you uh, share with us about your youtube channel what's it called and uh, what is it about quickly before i move on to the next segment which is a fun segment oh uh, yeah so the my youtube channel is kala natrajan only on my description uh, my uh, niche uh, is empowerment of divorcees so okay. uh, the, uh, i now i'm concentrating on making uh, content for divorcees so uh, women empowering them and clients. making yeah. uh, making them believe in themselves first yeah. of all they should believe in themselves so that they can move ahead in life absolutely so i put more than i think uh, 22 videos in that great i'm so happy okay so kala now i'm going to ask you uh, so this is like a rapid fire round so i'll either ask you to complete a sentence or i'll ask you a question or in the beginning i'm going to say a few words and whatever comes to your head you have to reply you can reply in a sentence or you can say a word against that word okay, okay? it can be any word like any word okay so okay. my first word is camera camera uh, be friendly with the camera Okay, so you can say one word or a sentence. Okay, whatever comes yeah. to your head. Yeah. Okay. Inhibitions. Remove it by practice, practice, practice. Awesome. Life coach. Empower others. Make them stand up. Light. Sorry. Light. Light. Yeah, it should be in front of you while uh, making videos. Okay. Social media. social media yeah uh, be consistent in social media but be natural and uh, okay. don't go by the likes you do your job and forget about the rest yes okay so uh, you have to complete this sentence life begins at life begins at uh, 80 why not because louis hay she celebrated her 80th birthday Hmm. uh and she said that this decade is going to be the best decade of my life awesome wow i like it thank you for sharing okay financially independent yeah so you first of all believe in yourself that you can do it and there are hmm. so many avenues to earn income and women hmm. must all women must be financially independent okay so i want you to uh, share a piece of friendly advice with people who are in the victim mode who constantly feel that oh my life is so hard my my life is so difficult why does it happen to me and look at her life it's so much better and they are constantly in the victim mode pampering themselves and they are so attached to pain so what would you like to tell them so victim mode is i was in a victim mode long time back so i know what it feels victim mode is uh, you know horrible you should never be in the victim mode don't compare with others see what you have you have so much the universe is keeping on giving you you are not recognizing that and have gratitude for what you have already in life and i'm sure wow. things will grow why because maintain a gratitude jar or a gratitude journal see what are the five things which happened good today the yes. other day i was uh, having health issues and felt a dip little depressed and then immediately i wrote five things for which happened good today and then i became so much in, uh, empowered and strong so uh, don't compare with others believe in yourself and uh, never get defeated one great philosopher has said it's not important to win in life it's more important not to get defeated by failures wow try try and try again until you succeed and you will Never succeed yes absolutely so kala before we end do you have any question for me anything at all or would you like uh, to yeah okay share anything so, about the camera or anything you want to ask me uh, so how do I, how do you advise me what in what area i should improve you are already doing a very very good job and uh, i would just say the placement of camera is what i want you to work on in the next uh, few videos 
so it will take a little bit of effort and uh, till i'm not satisfied with your videos i'm going to keep making you change the placement of the camera so placement of camera and angle is what i want you to work on in the next few videos okay yes thank you so much for all the lovely things that you shared with us about your program and all the empowering quotes and uh, about your book and you made our sunday afternoon so so beautiful and i'm so uh, happy to have you as a part of my 12 weeks program and i'm looking forward to the rest of your journey with me and camera and me mastermind program thank you kala for joining in today thank you so much for being in my life and thank you so much for guiding me through the camera and me uh, so many sessions now i have a lot of clarity and i'm so comfortable making the videos that's uh, awesome. that uh, uh, it's been an awesome journey with you thank you so I much i hope you are the first one to cross 100 videos sure i will i will camera and me yeah and i want to share it on instagram with our insta family when you cross that Okay. Okay. So sorry. Before I end again, there's a question, so I'll just answer that before I end. It's uh, so Vin Vinish is asking. I hope I've taken your name correctly. Uh, he's asking. You said no fan, no AC, but what if we sweat like uh, so much? So you can always keep like a cloth or um, tissue with you, and of course, this is a live session, uh, which is why it is on for like thirty minutes. But when you're making a video, it might be probably two minutes, three minutes, or five minutes. so you can cool your room with the ac you can make it uh, nice and cool and just before you start your video you can just check if you have any uh, sweat uh, on your face and you can wipe it and immediately shoot the video and as soon as you are done with shooting your video you put it on so i yes. want to share one more thing to wish vishwam yeah uh, that actually i did not put the ac on some time back i put it on only just before the live and secondly the ac is far i have a big hall and the ac is far away from me that's why i am no problem sweating. but i it's enjoyed right. the session enjoyed all your questions i enjoyed my mom is wishing you all the best thank you yeah to with my mom yes thank you everyone oh, yeah, for joining your mom. yes thank you everyone uh, prabhanj and uh, mind shift coach and everyone else harsh Thank you, thank you. I might have missed out some names, Avinash and everyone else. Thank you so much for joining in today. Have a wonderful Sunday, and I shall see you all next weekend. Thank you. Sorry, bye Vinisha, bye. for mispronouncing your name. You're Vinisha. Yeah, I got no it. Problem. Thank you so much for being there. Bye, Kala. Bye.